Hey everybody, we got a 2014 Lexus RX 350 all-wheel drive, uh, loaded out, navigation, backup camera, uh, chrome package. So this vehicle uh, has been owned and serviced, or serviced at Lexus since new. Insanely good maintenance history. Check out the Carfax. Uh, it was owned in Pennsylvania, well, New Jersey, actually, for one year and then sold to the Lexus dealership over here. So it's had two owners, only one year in New Jersey, the rest of its life in Oregon. There's no rust on the undercarriage whatsoever. I'll go through all the video with you. So 99% of its life was here in Oregon. Uh, it's a beautiful blue paint color. It's a dark blue, uh, so it looks a little different in different lights, but it's very, very pretty. It's got brand new Toyo backcountry tuning, or excuse me, not Toyo. These are Leshwav backcountry tires all the way around. Those are brand new. It's got brand new rotors, brand new resurface rotors, brand new brake pads. Um, did all of its services at Lexus, so it had its full 80,000 mile service. I believe it's got like 92,000 on it now. All the oil, everything's up to date on this vehicle. Paint's in beautiful condition. Uh, tires alone are about at Les Schwab about fifteen hundred bucks. Um, that's if they didn't nail you for anything extra, which they tend to do there now that they've become a giant corporation instead of independently owned. That's a whole nother subject. Uh, in class, I mean, it's a Toyota Highlander mechanically, three point five liter V six transmission, transfer gauge, front end, rear end. That's all Toyota Highlander. You got a Lexus body on it. You know, Toyota Electronics, absolutely phenomenal. Most people that are buying this vehicle know all about it already and have been driving one forever. My mother drives one with over 315,000 miles on it, a 2006, um, which would have been the 3.3 liter. This is a 3.5 liter. Equally as good of a motor, as actually better in the sense that this has a timing chain, which lasts the lifetime of the engine. Uh, 14 is a great year. It's one of the last years of this body style. Uh, 16, they switched to the new body style. Uh, from a lending perspective, it's perfect because it's less than 100,000 miles and uh, and less than 100,000 miles and less than 10 years old. So it meets all the qualifications for lending. It's got a sunroof. It's got full screen navigation system. We'll go through all that here in a minute. It's got a beautiful color combination package. Uh, I love this cream interior color with the blue exterior uh, with the wood accents. It's really just beautiful. It's got all the original floor mats throughout the whole thing. I bought this from the Lexus dealer. Uh, I buy a lot of Lexuses from the Lexus dealer. I love selling in a value perspective. This is around $60,000-ish dollars new today, depending on the Lexus dealership you go into and how much they're marking them up. Uh, you know, we're going to put list this for sale for $22,500. And it's got, I mean, extremely conservatively, over 50% of its life left. Uh, now, if you want to be on the other end of the spectrum... Uh, there's lots of people that hit 350, 400,000 miles on this rig and it's got 92,000 miles on it. So the value perspective is huge. Uh, first aid kit, you got these mats, then another mat underneath that before you get to the actual, uh, carpeting in the back. So tons of protection. None of this has ever been moved out of place. Uh, of course you have the Lexus, uh, little net in the back that you can put stuff in, keeps it secure so it doesn't rattle around back there. You've got a power lift gate with a push button. Uh, door panels. You got cup holders here. You got a little storage compartment here. Headliner. So I'm gonna close up these doors before we go into the rest of the interior 
Now, for those that don't know, these are all pre-drilled and threaded into the subframe, so you can bolt on a bicycle hitch or whatever else on the back of this uh, pretty easily um, without drilling any holes into the subframe. It's all pre-drilled and threaded. You've got parking sensors along the back, along with the backup camera, which is right there. You've got the roof rack runners, uh, which is the expensive part of the roof rack. If you don't have these, then they gotta put all the mod do the modifications to put these on. Uh, if you've already got them, then you just buy the crossbars, uh, which you can find on eBay or at Lexus if you wanna overpay for them. Uh, seat, all power seat. You got these little compartments here. You've got power folding mirrors. So if you press the button there, uh, actually you gotta be, let's go ahead and push button start. True keyless entry, push button start. Power tilt telescoping steering wheel. We're adjusting that right now. Power folding mirrors. When you lock the car up, they have the auto switch. So if that's on, when you lock the car, it'll automatically power fold your mirrors. Let's see, we got 92,101. So barely over 92,000 miles. Full screen navigation system. <clears throat> you got your little mouse pad here, which I love. I mean, I really do. It's, uh, I sell mostly Toyota, so maybe I'm biased, but I get Mercedes and everything else. And to me, this is one of the most user-friendly screens you can have. You can come up here and you can turn the volume up, down, or you can adjust anything through this system here. Let's go menu. And then you have all your different adjustments. You can just click over while you're driving down the road. You can click climate. You can go over here, you can turn the fan up. You can change your heat. You know, you can sync them to where they're the same as the driver. So just a lot you can do there, which is, yeah, it's easy. It's all right here on this little mouse pad. You've got locking differential, traction control. I'm gonna turn the radio down a little bit so you can hear me. Uh, you have all your owner's manual documentation stuff in there. Uh, you have your trunk on off button. You've got a little cup holder thing here it's kind of an interesting style little cup holder there you got blind spot monitoring system uh so you got sonar in the rear bumper this is your power lift gate you can open it from there gas pop uh you've got memory seats they will also memory the steering wheel and they will also memory the mirrors you can see your little blind spot indicator right there at the edge of the mirror that'll light up if something's in your blind spot uh I mean, that's the majority of it. You got, like I said, dual side climate control. You got cup holders there. There's your key fob in there. You got heated and cooled leather seats. So you turn it to this side, it's a fan that blows up to the perforated seat. Turn it to the other side, you've got three stage heated seats. And when the light's on, it's on. You can cover it up by pulling on this and it extends your armrest so that you got a more comfortable position for working your mouse depending on how long your arm is i can have it back and it's just fine for me you've got a power outlet down there this is a real clean drive it off the lot brand new brakes brand new tires brand new oil hop in it and go on a road trip vehicle uh, Oh, I got to do undercarriage because this did spend a year in Pennsylvania, which is not enough time to collect anything, by the way, but uh, it is really crystal clean underneath. Let's go take a look underneath. Yep, zero rust, zero, none, nada. So for any of those who see the Carfax and have questions on that, uh, video is worth a thousand words. Uh, so let's dive under the front crystal clean and dry same as all of our vehicles guys we don't sell rust buckets um, 
If you want that, I can give you a whole laundry list of dealerships. Uh, anyways, we actually won't give the list of dealerships out that sell rust buckets, but uh, just be wary. The undercarriage of a vehicle always tells the story that you want to know. Uh, you know, it, gravity works the same for vehicles as it does for every human being and everything else on earth. Everything runs down. So uh, first thing I do on any vehicle when it comes in on trade or whether I'm looking at it to buy it, uh, and I sell like a lot of vehicles, thousands of vehicles per year. Um, look underneath it. It's the first thing I do. All right. So thanks for watching. Don't miss out on this one. Not very often I have this color combination in. Uh, just really beautiful solid rig. Thanks, guys.